So when we want to determine how close our regression line fits the data, quite often you could just judge that by eye. You could look at the scatter graph and go, well, your regression line is uh, quite close to your data points. Okay, so um, that is one way of doing it. Another way is uh, to consider the coefficient of determination. Now, the coefficient of determination as like a base, what it is as a calculation, is that it is the square of the product moment correlation coefficient. So the coefficient of determination is r squared. And consequently, um, it, because the value of r goes between minus 1 and 1, the coefficient of determination goes between 0 and 1. OK? Now, the question becomes, well, right, OK, so we can square the PMCC, but what does it mean? Well, it tells us the proportion of the variation in y that is explained by the variation in x. Now, what does that mean? Okay, because that's, that's quite a complicated thing to say. So it's the proportion of the variation in y that is explained by the variation in x. Right, so the best way to explain this is to do it via an example. Okay, so we're going to take a look at an example. Let's say um, we have a number of houses. And the houses um, we are going to compare um, by their floor plan area in meters squared, okay, um, against their price. So the price that they were sold at. Okay, and Let's say we had some data on that, so we collect that data and maybe it looks something like this, maybe. Okay. And then we draw a least squares regression line. Maybe it looks something like that. OK, and having drawn the regression line, remember that is um, our predictive model. OK, so if I wanted to work out the price, the potential price of a house, uh, given its um, square metre floor plan, um, I should be able to go up from the x-axis, horizontal axis, to my line, then to my vertical axis. Okay. Now, notice how if I have this uh, floor plan area, then I can go up to these, to my line, read off the house price. But, of course, my model's not perfect, because not only have I gone through that data point, there is also this data point right up here that has a higher house price. Now, what is that discrepancy? Where is that coming from? So. Let's think about this contextually. Um, when uh, people buy houses or sell houses, a number of things, a number of factors are considered. So one factor, yeah, is probably the size of the house, the floor plan area. But other things might be taken into account. So uh, the number of bedrooms, the number of bathrooms, um, does it have a garage? 
Uh, is there a garden? Um, is there uh, off-road parking? Is it a detached house or a semi-detached house? Or is it a flat? Um, no, all of these things will be taken into account. And, you know, you might also be thinking, well, what about location? There's another one, right? All of these things are going to be taken into account um, when you are uh, selling a house. So the house price will not only be uh, based on the floor plan area, okay? So this variation in Y, right, is what is what I'm really thinking about when we look at the coefficient of determination. So let's say that for my scatter graph, I calculate the value of R to be 0.75. Okay, so it's reasonably strong uh, positive correlation or moderately strong positive correlation. So when I square 0.75, so R squared, the coefficient of determination will be 0.5625. Okay, now what's that saying? Well, that is saying that 56% or 56.25% of the variation in Y is explained by the variation in X. Okay, so... 56.25% is explained by the floor plan area. Um, whereas the remaining percentage, so 43.75%, uh, that the remaining percentage is uh, location, um, is number of bedrooms, is it semi-detached or is it detached? So that percentage that is left over is explaining all of the other variables. Okay, so this is what the coefficient of determination is there to do. Obviously, the higher the coefficient of determination, the better. Um, but... That is how you interpret it. So it's the proportion of the variation in Y that is explained by the variation in X. So it's quite a difficult concept to get your head around first. Um, these types of questions are only going to be relatively small, I would hope. Um, but that is how you use it and work with it.